Hey everybody, welcome back. Another part here is Sherlock Chapter 1. And um, I think this time what I'm going to do... I'm going to check out the uh, the M symbol here. Could be the work of Moriarty. Let's see what we got. I don't know what go what's going on with the uh, the main quest. I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing or something i got to do for that. But, um... What is going on, thing? Um, but I do have oh, another clothing trader, eh? I don't have that much money, sadly. Um, but I do Take have a, a side quest I could do. It'll be a nice purchase. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Just want to see if the offerings are the same everywhere. Yes, they appear to be. It appears to be. Um, glass. I can afford the glasses. Oh yeah, see, now the upper cl uh, the uh, upper class folks don't like the mask. I do like the glasses though? They they are a fan of glasses. Deluxe glamour. Wow, you look fucking fantastic. Okay, apparently the workers like old people. Um, I guess let's look. At, let's get the glasses, eh? And uh, I mean, the glamour makeup is very popular. Scarred face is popular with the poor and the working class. Who's the fake bruises for? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess let's pick up this and sure, let's pick up the, the makeup. All right. A perfect choice. <laughs> I'm I'm so decked out right now. Look at me. If I if I were to throw Yeah, look at that. I'm nearly fully uh posh here. The makeup and all that. Yes. We're going to go with this. Oh wait, is there an appropriate hat that I have? Is the bowler hat posh? Oh, it is. I am fully posh. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't I look exactly like a wealthy aristocrat right now? With the gun and the chains and shit. Alright, M for Moriarty. Hmm. What an eclectic collection of flags you have. You guys are awful friendly. Uh, yeah. for the guests of Cordona. Uh. Find hidden treasure. Really? As part of the governor's commitment to increasing tourism on Cordona, the city hall is excited to announce the treasure hunt event. The challenge consists of three stages, each consisting of eight photographic clues to the next to the locations of hidden treasure boxes. Once the participant has collected all eight, he or she must return and collect the clues for the next set of treasures. Okay. If you say so. Can I pull up my gun? <laughs> Selling some... Yeah, nice. Alright, uh, in here? Harbor Master Building. You must be... Sherlock Holmes, your brother Mycroft sent his regards. Oh, M is Mycroft, oh, not Moriarty. Me. Perhaps 
hopes one day he'll do it in person. Look, I just tell you what they tell me. And you've done it admirably. Good show. I'm confident that with a bit of effort, one day you might even send regards to the king himself. Goodbye. Wait. No. I haven't told you yet. Of course. Let me guess. Mission, urgent, fate of the nation, etc. Mycroft busy with his tea parties, is he? Right. So, one of our agents has been involved in an accident and can't send us the confidential document she's obtained. We need you to go and ensure the job is completed. So, yes, urgent mission, fate of the nation. So, Mycroft needs another errand boy. And you are presumably too incompetent? Oh, don't give me that look. I'll go and check on your agent. Send Mycroft my regards. The details are in this note, Mr. Holmes. If I were you, I'd start to take this more seriously. Lives are at stake. Mycroft's agent got into an accident at the intersection of Baskerville and Reed in northwestern Scaladio. Find here and collect the package of documents she had obtained. Afterward, pass it to the agent waiting on the square in front of City Hall. The man is afraid of fire. You'll see it on his face. So oh, he's scarred. That's Nothing ever terrible. changes. I'm pulled back and forth between my brothers playing all their silly games. Hey, at least mine are fun. <sighs> Skilladio, Baskerville. What was it? I've already forgotten. Reed. Baskerville and Reed. Baskerville, Queen, Harbor, Reed. There we go. <clears throat> near the thugs. Hmm. Hopefully not too near. And we're sprinting, and we're sprinting, and we're knocking over little children. And we're sprinting, and we're sprinting. Oh, it's, oh, it's the Sphinx. Interesting. And we're sprinting, and we're sprinting, and we're running into the cops. Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. Apparently they are impervious to inertia. And we're sprinting, and we're sprinting, and we're sprinting, and I wish this was faster. I'm beginning to bore of the travel here. And I know that there's a fast travel system. As a matter of fact, probably... Oh yes, much closer. That's my fault, then. I should have just used the fast travel system can't complain too much. I mean, I, I can, and I will. It just means that I shouldn't. And we're sprinting, and we're sprinting, and we're sprinting. Oh, there should be. Sir, what do you think you're doing? Officer. Oh, I know you. You're the clever chap that cracked that Palazzo del Luzzo case, eh? Well, presuming there has not been another murder since, then yes, it is I. I'm here to investigate the accident. You don't mind if I examine the scene? You're too late. Case closed. It was no accident. The rickshaw driver deliberately ran that poor woman over, and I'm taking him into custody. Oh, well, if that's the case, then my examination of the scene can hardly interfere with your brilliant work, Officer... Huxley. Well, if you want to play detective, go ahead. But stay away from my business, all right? Jeez, should I have worn my policeman's uniform? All right, rickshaw driver there. That gentleman, here's her. Head smashed on pavement. We have grooves in the cobbles over there. So he tried to stop, skidded here this way, the tire marks go that way, the rickshaw is there and she's here. There's quite a bit about this, doesn't, doesn't make much sense. <laughs> uh, head wound. An impact to the back of the head caused severe damage. Her death was probably instant. Probably not. But Cordona's thanks. true horror revealed. Behold, the killer curb. That's not how you spell that. Um, symbols of two decorative process. This pendant looks like it may contain something. Let's see. 
a blank note. Unlikely. I assume it's invisible ink. She has abrasions on her leg. Skid marks? I don't know. Um, key number two. It takes two to tango. I'll find a use for it. Is that a wet spot? What is that? The dress looks generally neat and tidy. Any staining must have been from the accident. <laughs> Cleaning the houses of rich men by day and preserving England's secrets by night. My friend, you know you're in trouble, right? But all this can go away for a small fee. Ah, oh, damn crooked cops. Come on, Sorry. concentrate, Sorry. so we can Sorry. stop him before he arrests the driver. English constable, arrogant, patronizing, sympathetic. Always take care when walking beneath balconies. Doesn't really fit with the placement of the body, but okay. Always take care when walking beneath balconies. I didn't see her, I swear. She came out of nowhere. I heard someone collide with my cart, and when I turned around, she was lying there dead. I've brought such tragedy to my family. Okay. Anything more to do there? I mean, doesn't seem like the pot hit her. The dirt looks pretty evenly splatted out there. There's no disturbance of the pedals. It doesn't look like she was hit by the rickshaw driver, that's for sure. I mean, look at the placement of the rickshaw, her body. It just doesn't make any sense. Even if these aren't the cart tracks from the rickshaw, which seems pretty self-evident, you know. Crimean drunkard. Zuma Mason, Kenyan gardener. Sir, I've heard the same not-my-fault lie a thousand times. I wasn't born yesterday. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Oh, is this the thing where I have to pin the thing again? Yeah, that's probably it. All right, so first of all... <clears throat> uh, I don't know what to do with the key just yet. Um, yes, this one is definitely not a blank note. We're looking for red three, green f negative five. And then blue four. Okay, if I can remember how to do this. Do I have to do these one at a time? Is that it? Um... Hey, 
Pin with invisible ink. The note contains the address Northwestern Scaladio. The crossing of Reichenbach Road and Hudsonetti Street. Look for the bird sign. Okay. Uh, curb blood splatter ever found the blank note. Okay, there was a fresh stain on the dress, but it was being tidy. I concluded the dress was dirty during the accident. I don't know why you would think that. Okay, so I gotta pin this so that I can actually do the concentrate thing, apparently. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it sucks that you have to pin evidence. It's... From the position of the body, we can deduce that Mycroft's agent walked down the street from the east. There she is, from the east there. The rickshaw's tracks show that the vehicle was coming from the south. Yes. That I agree with. The rickshaw gained speed down the slope of the road and was going too fast to stop for a pedestrian. But, Sherry, it would be impossible to miss a rickshaw speeding downhill. It was as fast as a racehorse. Unless something distracts you. The falling part. As the John, no one is immune to chance. Such synchrony of events would be very difficult to contrive artificially. No such thing as coincidence. I bet there's a killer mastermind behind this. Or a team of killers. Ooh, a secret global rickshaw conspiracy. Upon examination of the scene, I have concluded that the smash of the flower pot distracted the woman. She didn't notice the oncoming rickshaw. After stepping into its path, she was knocked to the ground and died after hitting her head on the curb. It was most likely an accident. Oh, that's just your imagination. The facts say otherwise. Well, fact, there are no wheel tracks on the woman's body, so the rickshaw could not have run over her. Fact. You are blackmailing an innocent man. Didn't I tell you to stay out of my business? You're lucky there's a crowd. So the man can go free. Oh, thank you, Officer Huxley, for your excellent decision. All right. The rickshaw puller can leave, but he better not show his face again. That goes twice for you, Mr. White Knight. Goodbye, sir. I'm glad you didn't leave that poor chap alone. The truth must be told, even if it damns as often as it saves. Today it spared a driver and denounced an officer. Tomorrow, perhaps the opposite. Thank you, sir. This policeman would have never let me go if you hadn't intervened. Okay. Our compass mark. What is this still here? All evidence collected. Okay. Reichenbach and Hudsonetti look for the bird sign. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Reichenbach and Hudsonetti. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Trattoria. The old oak Washing soap. I see no void. No void at all. Maybe. Oh, I'm not there. That's why I don't see it. Uh, 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 coming through, coming through, coming through. Oh, okay, they were there. I'm supposed to go. I mean, none of these are businesses. Oh, there's. Take a look. Let's try it on. Try It'll be a nice bird. purchase. What did it say again? What did it say? Northwestern Scalonial Birds. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
So I'm gonna guess it's in the apartment complex. Yeah, that's my guess. So, what have we learned today? Don't let anyone take you for a ride. Number two. One bed, one table, and one horrible scent of decay which someone tried to cover with perfume. A typical safe house for my cross spies. Fake passports? I guess nothing is a crime if you're working for the Crown. I've always wanted to try something new. <laughs> Big moustache. Reminds me of the mess in your room, John. Oh, well, that's something. We, of course, got a gun. <clears throat> Must say, perfectly maintained. She took good care of it. I don't think it's a she. All of these are men's clothing. A brand new model. Which, I mean, I know they're disguises, but... You would think, if they were for her... Being a secret agent isn't easy. There would at least easy. be some... There would at least be some uh, women's clothing in there as well. Whoever broke in clearly does not appreciate lockpicks. The documents may have been stowed in here, but they're gone now. Okay. Matchbox. And there's a footprint on the windowsill. The wax is still warm. Primitive, but efficient at breaking windows. The wax is still warm, though, so it fell off of here. So somebody lit it so that they would know. A brute to come force in. intrusion rather than a stealthy sneak in. Yeah, Sloppy work. Unprofessional. Someone was in a hurry. Yep. Mycroft's documents were stolen. The thief entered through the broken window not long ago. What are we waiting for? Let's search the backyard and track him down. Still don't know what bird sign she was talking about. Like, what am I missing? Bird. Oh, there it is. Scratch into the wall. All right. Okay, you're armed. There's our broken window. There's blood on the windowsill as well. But I can't do anything about it. Or do I have to do the fucking... Oops. They were in such a hurry that they cut themselves. There we go. They injured themselves pretty seriously. Look at the amount of blood. Does it mean they were waiting here for something? The police patrol schedule sends officers along here regularly. Our thief wasn't waiting. They were hiding. Church of St. Augustine. Oh. 
The blood trail stops here. They must have finally bandaged the wound. Knocked over some ladies' oranges. <laughs> the thief must be somewhere around here. I can almost smell him. Men are always in a hurry, and women always pay the consequences. Did you see where he went? Did you see where he went? I can't talk to you over it. That's short of a distance. Okay, how about you guys? Oh, wait a second, how about you? Piece of advice. Next time you try to steal from an agent of the United Kingdom, don't leave a trail of blood behind you. Try using a lockpick. So it seems this is it. You found me. And now I have no choice. No choice at all. He told me to give you this letter. So where are the documents? And who is he? <laughs> Piece of advice. When someone tells you to mind your own business, Listen. Okay. Doesn't look high enough to die. Just injure yourself, but... Oh, shit. Fair enough. What horror could he have been facing that suicide was the better option? What did you get? It's a grim augury indeed. There's something bigger brewing, John. We should inspect the poor man for any leads. His hand. He managed to bandage the wound properly. A strange act of self preservation for a man on his way to suicide. Expensive clothes. Pretty worn out, though. Mm -hmm. A family insignia. Typical nobleman fashion. Old and made of silver. Not expensive, but might be an heirloom. Take a photo of this poor bugger. Better to give Mycroft something rather than nothing. Oh, I can take a picture. Okay. I suppose it may help in understanding the situation. Find me in room two two seven. I feel like I should go back to the hotel. I think that's what room 227 is. And then go to the city hall square. Um, hotel, 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 hotel.
Can I not? Can I not get back into the hotel? Apparently I'm locked out of the hotel. Oh, wait, here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, yes, apparently I'm locked out. Alrighty then, I guess to the city hall it is. Shit, oh. <laughs> Alright, oh man, we've spent enough fire. Ah. Guests of Cordona, find hidden treasure. Burnt as Does it look remotely child. familiar to you? Should it? Concentrate, Sherry. This face isn't burnt. What's silence is golden? What is this? Oh my god. It says he was burnt as a child, but I don't see it on his face. I don't see any burns. It's most likely who we're looking for, but let's be sure. Is there anybody else I'm missing? Children. A contest for the guests of Cordona. Find hidden treasure. Okay, he's the only one that mentions being burnt as a child, so we'll go with it. Excuse me, just one question. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Okay. May I ask you something? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Okay. Oh, uh, well, there's a note from M. Maybe John was right in the direction I set up. Yeah. Okay. Alas, that a terrible blow for the office. I'd better pass on your report immediately. Thank you for your service. The accident doesn't look so accidental anymore, does it? I think you might be right, John. I feel like someone is leading us by the nose. First time I've encountered such a devious mind. I suspect not the last. Okay. I, I don't... I don't like this mechanism of having to pin shit. Uh, I think I get what they were going for, but... Just a large crowd gathered. Okay. Oh. I was here, young and passionate about the truth. Mycroft stood close to me. He was keen on my attending every official event that I might prepare myself for the Crown service. Lucky for you, that was the last time he did it. There was a stage here, a tribute. The governor gave his speech there, he was lying through his teeth and nobody noticed, or didn't want to, but I noticed. I was extremely irritated by his lies. I shouted my opinions very loudly for everyone to hear. The crowd went wild. Mm. 
Um, Firecroft was angry but calm. He led me away from the stage. told me that I should keep my mouth shut, and that silence is golden. I couldn't stand for that. Behold, Sherlock Holmes's famous adherence to justice was born here. Okay. Oh, Treasure Island, where am I? Barbara Master Building. Uh -uh. I pretty near another coin. It would be nice to see if it would be nice to see if uh, the first one that I collected was actually collected, or if I screwed it up somehow, or what. So let's go do that. So it uh, didn't tell me that I collected it. I, I have no idea. But then again, this game seems to be a lot like that, where you're. You're not really clear necessarily on your objectives, and you're not necessarily clear on um, course of action, but uh, it is what it is kind of a thing, because it's kind of part of the process of the game. The bookshop. Can I... Oh, I can go in. Can I buy a fresh stuff? newspaper? Oh, newspaper. Suicide claims another. Yes, we'll buy the paper about the guy. I wish you a pleasant reading. Bridge. Yes, thank you. Um, which is, you know, I mean, it makes sense. It's a Sherlock Holmes game. I, you know, it should be, you know, they shouldn't be spoon feeding you your objectives and, and stuff. That's fine. It's just that the mechanics are a little bit annoying when it comes to the whole pinning things and whatnot. Because I know what I'm asking. All right, no sign of a hint. The vase was broken recently, though. Perhaps the vandal left some tracks. It was you, wasn't it? Tracks, tracks, tracks. Where are the tracks? Talking about these tracks? Okay, I see the tracks. What in the hell? See the tracks. Come on. Um. Oh, and this mechanic here with this concentrating thing. Irritating. Come on. Oh, that's right. I need to fucking pin it first. Oh, God. Looks like our little vandal is a dog. Let's see where he went. Dodge. Get the fuck out of the way. Dodge. Dodge, 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 wait, wait, this, this way. Ah. Dodge, dodge, dodge. 
<sighs> this way. Quite a ways here. Ah, dead end. Where could you go upstairs? Oh, there we go. Zeppelin is a. Uh, sorry, my eyes hurt. Hold on, hold on. The Zeppelin is a point of pride for the local British populace. There are two places in the city where our countrymen like to gather, talk, drink coffee, and feel a sense of superiority to their local friends. One is at the square where you found this hint. Another is close to a local guest house, which is well known amongst those who came to the island to visit friends and relatives. Between these two points, there is a bridge behind one of the cobblestones in its foundation. I've hidden your coin. This dog's name Toby? It is Toby. Alright, uh, so there's the square where I found this. The other one's a guest house. Um, I mean, there's two bridges. Where's the guest house? There's the harbor master guest house. I mean, there's a bridge here. I don't know where the guest house. This is a church. This is where I found the dirt where the coin should have been. Hmm. Guest house. Um, well known amongst those who came to visit the island and i did see a little while ago when i was struggling to remember to pin the evidence that one of the people was a scottish tourist I mean, he's obviously not Let's see if i can find a scottish tourist um Let's see if i can find a british Visitor, uh, Welsh actor, I mean, teacher. Who are you? Swedish ballet. Refresh your interior. Pick what you like. Sorry, I've nothing to offer you at present. Servant. British. Irish orphan. Oh, he's a bad guy. He got a gun. French tourist. You're a cop. You're not going to help me. No, British constable. Maybe he, maybe he knows. I can't talk to him. He looks pretty British. Only a tourist. Why can't I talk to him? Are people? you able to help me? Yes. 
I'll tell you, sir. Hmm. It will be an honor to help you. Guest house is located at the crossing of Glass Street and Queen Street. Oh, cool. Are you a tourist? What do I need to find? You're a German noble. You have nothing to do with this. Apparently, I could have asked anybody. Um, uh, yeah, Glass and Queen Street. Okay. <clears throat> um There's okay, there's glass and queen right there. There okay, and the coin symbol is still there even after I found the note. So it does disappear when I find it, which means that our bridge is right here. It's this guy. Okay. Here's a bridge. Here's the bridge, okay. You said it was in a foundation. So down here, I guess. Or is it oh, not in here? Where is it up there? I thought you said foundation. Behind one of the cobblestones in its foundation. So down here. I do have to go on up here. Or do I need to freaking search? silver coin, now replaced by the gold lira. Suleiman II minted them, part of his attempt to revive the failing economy. And... Now the symbol's gone. Okay, so that, that I did find the first one. That was weird. Just randomly found it. Um... Okay, well... The, uh, there's another one right here. I mean... It's not far away. Ah, uh, hell. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Finding coins. Avoiding the main quest. Whoa, hey. Oh, there's the thing. Um. There's the symbol. Oh, there it is. In the tree. Over the years, I've noticed the people who are involved in dubious business have a strange obsession with back entrances. It's as if they believe that the simple act of not entering through the front door to the place of their secret meeting makes them invisible. The other trait that a great many conspirators share is a love of art. The Legacy Theater in southern Scaladio is a prime place for brewing intrigue. I spent, I spent hours with a spyglass observing one of the back entrances to this theater, noting that the people passing up and down the stairs and the the times at which they did so. After a few weeks, uh, I began to see interesting patterns that have led to quiet arrests. 
This coin I have hidden inside a toy boat and left it floating underneath my observation point. Don't worry, I've tied it to a rock so it doesn't float too far away. Okay, so... Legacy Theater. Observation point. Near water. Um, but it made it sound like it was a river. Still, there's water here. I guess this is it. <clears throat> ah, the theater. Park. The observation point, most likely the bridge. Yes. Somewhere in here. Greetings from Sir William Sinclair. Welcome, dear traveler. Look around you. This park is this park, this island. All of it has been created for you. Dream big in Cordona and spend big. This is only the start of an exciting adventure. I'm sure you will fall in love with this island once you feel your life into that. Okay. Thank you. It was in the very place marked on the treasure map. Oh, I see. It's one of those. Um. Toy boat. Toy boat. Can't crouch here. Toy boat. Hey there, guys. Okay. Well, he did say back entrance. I feel like this is the front. So, um. Set back. Let's see if we can. I don't see any water on the map. This is definitely the front. Let's go to the back. Oh, oh shit! What do we got here? Whoa! Fire breather. A silent fire breather. Oh, okay, it's not silent. This is very quiet. Do it again, dude. Do it again. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Cool. Here's the back entrance where we were before. And we did that little thing with remembering. It's gotta be somewhere visible from here. Is this a bridge or a ditch? Yeah, okay. There's a boat in there. So this is normally a canal filled with water. It's just dried up right now. And you can absolutely see the back entrance from here. I'm guessing he was standing on that bridge, which means that somewhere down here. Or maybe, no, he said toy boat. Toy boat, small. small. Yeah, look at that, this is normally filled with water. What? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. And so on. Uh, oh, there's a toy boat. There we go. We got it. A Zucchino of the Republic of Venice. This one dates back to Marino Faliero, who was executed for attempting a coup. Big ambition, poor organization. Happens to the best of us. One wealthy collector wanted this coin so badly that he dared to intrude upon my father's funeral to convince mother to sell it. Mycroft showed him the door. All right. That's three coins that we found.
Um, okay. Lion monuments. Bench on a pier. Carriage in the yard. Long bridge. Snug gazebo. Now that I've seen. That's near Stonewood Manor. Uh, that I'm certain of. Oh, bridge agent. Oh, this is archived. These are the ones that are done. Okay. Oh, maybe I should work on the Kali shangles next time. And there will be a next time. I'm having a reasonable amount of fun with this game. It's okay. I mean... I don't have any complaints, I guess. How much money do I have? Where's my money? Money. No. Okay, look. Ah. Uh, 31 money. I need to start making money in order to buy my things back, apparently. My only problem with this game right now is it doesn't really seem like there's a lot to do. I see that we have another... Is it Mycroft or Moriarty? I thought it was Moriarty, then it said Mycroft. I don't know. We got another one of those side quests to do. I'm not sure how to proceed with a mother's love. Um, unless there's something still in Stonewood that we have to do that I haven't done. Which is possible. I mean, I thought I went everywhere, but perhaps not. Maybe there's ways to unlock more memories that I haven't done yet. I don't know. Maybe next time we'll find out. I'll head back to Stonewood and see if there's some way to open those doors. I assumed that the doors would open like later as we progress through the story. But I suppose it's possible that uh, there's just more there to do that I haven't done, and that explains why I'm uh, why I'm not making progress. Or maybe we'll take out the bandit lair, get a little action going. Yeah, my only problem with the game so far is that uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot to do. I've got fetch side quests, uh, you know, with the furniture and the coins. I've got side quests here with the Moriarty thing or whatever it is. I've got side quests here with the Kali shingles and stuff. I just it, it just doesn't seem like there's a lot going on. Uh, you know, it's almost like I'm already at the busy work of endgame content before I really do anything. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it might just be me. And next time I think we'll find out. We'll we'll go back to Stonewood and we'll poke around a little bit more and see see if there's just something I'm not figuring and if we can get those other doors open right away. So we'll see you next time. Bye.